upper would be a Gryffindor. Hi everyone, it's Cara and welcome to a new video. This week I thought it would be fun to sort Avatar Last Airbender characters into Hogwarts houses. I know this isn't a new thing and I know that people have done this all over the internet but I decided to put my version of it out here so I hope you guys enjoy and let me know what you think of who I sort where and who you would put them if you disagree with me and we can start a nice fun chat underneath. I'm going to start with the avatar himself, Aang. So I think Aang is a bit of an obvious one. Above all else Aang is kind hearted and loyal. Aang is a Hufflepuff. Definitely, 110%. He always thinks of others before himself. He's always trying to help people. I know that he's the avatar and it's his job, but even in cases where he doesn't have to, he just puts everybody else above himself and he's just the most adorable little human being in the entire world. Or well, that world. This world. And a Hufflepuff. End of discussion. Okay, next is Katara. Katara, I thought would be a Ravenclaw just because of how quickly she adapts to the new environments when she sets off with Aang and also how quickly she learns waterbending once she gets to the North Pole. I think Katara would have been like Azula if she'd have the tr had the trainer where she'd have been a prodigy waterbender but obviously growing up in the South Pole with no other waterbenders she wasn't able to do that, she had to figure it out on her own. I really do feel like if she had someone to teach her at a young age she'd have mastered waterbending really really early and she would have just been a prodigy at it. So that's why I think Katara would have been a Ravenclaw. Next is Sokka. Sokka again I think would be a Ravenclaw. His knowledge of weapons is fantastic and for someone who's never left the South Pole he knows a lot about the outside world. You often find him explaining things to the others that you wouldn't think someone who'd never left this tiny little village would know yet somehow he does. He's a really really bright person that a lot of people don't realise. People just think he's the goofy sidekick when actually when you look at some of the things he says and some of the things that he knows despite the fact he's never left the South Pole, he's really really smart and he hides a lot of that with his bad sense of humour and just general goofiness and self-destroying behaviour. Sokka's also a planner. Like think about it, he had the invasion plan down to a T, he had his giant list in the third season where they needed to be at what time which again is a very Ravenclaw trait to be on time and plan and think ahead next I'm gonna do Toph so Toph I feel like is a Gryffindor she's brave, she's impulsive she doesn't care what other people think of her she just does what she thinks is right or what she wants to do and that is the end of the discussion think about it she's 12 when she meets Anne, Katara and Sokka and she was already the champion of that wrestling tournament. She would have at least have been very early 12 or 11 when she first claimed that belt. She never backs down from a fight and it's that kind of behaviour that makes me think that she would be a Gryffindor. Next I'm going to move on to Azula. I think Azula is a Slytherin but not because she's the evil character. It's because of her ambition. Azula wants to be Fire Lord and even though she wasn't first in line for the throne, she has worked hard to get to the point where she can become the next Fire Lord. Zuko's been banished, and although she has strong Ravenclaw traits, like the fact she's a prodigy and the fact that she can produce lightning already, even though she's only 14, and the fact she's pretty much mastered firebending, that's not what she's focused on. She's not focused on being the best just to be the best. She's not focused on firebending because she's interested in it. She is good at firebending so she can get what she wants and be who she wants to be and become Fire Lord. Everything about her is ambition driven which is why even though she is really smart even though she plans she just all of her other abilities are filtered towards her ambition which is why I think overall she would have been placed in Slytherin. Next is Suki. I think Suki is a Gryffindor just because again she's a warrior so she's brave she goes into the heat of battle and she's also a leader. She is the leader of the Kyoshi warriors. During the breakout in season 3 she knows they need the warden to escape so without too much fall planning, she heads straight up there, captures him, meets up with the others and they get out of there. She improvised on the plan, so that is what makes me think Suki would be Gryffindor. Next I'm going to talk about one of my favourite characters, which is Uncle Iroh. Uncle Iroh is one of the best characters in the entire series. 
and not just because he's goofy but also wise, but the, for the fact that in Aang he's the only adult main character, yet he is a lot of the comic relief and he also provides wisdom when needed and you can take him seriously and you can also laugh at him. Even though his personality is completely split into will drink poison in case it's tea to giving out wisdom or advice to his nephew's enemy because he knows he's not actually his nephew's enemy and is trying to help his nephew. Yes. That. Looking at Iris Pass and the fact that he was a general in the army despite being the crowned prince of the Fire Nation, he could have easily have stayed at home, focused on the politics, stayed safe inside of his palace, but he decided to join the war. He was he, like most of the Fire Nation, believed that what the Fire Nation was doing was right, so he went off into the war to help his soldiers and to help his people win this war. In doing so, this shows a true bravery. He could have just stayed at home and watched the war go by and learned the politics and still become Philo, but he risked his life for his people. That is such a brave thing to do. And from what we see of Iroh, he isn't really overly ambitious. He's just a kind, loving person. Although a lot of people would argue that Ira belongs in Ravenclaw, I feel that his personality is just so much more suited to Gryffindor. He's bold when he speaks, is a true, natural born leader. People listen to him. Maybe later on in his life he would have been a Ravenclaw, but I think when he was first sorted back in at 11 years old, he would have been placed into Gryffindor. Okay, the final person that I'm going to do in this video is Zuko and the reason I've left Zuko to last is because I think the house he would have been sorted in is a bit controversial. I think Zuko is a Hufflepuff. Now before I get comments down below saying of course he's a Slytherin, his ambition, he's all about getting his honour back, he's all about capturing the Avatar. True, 15, 16 year old Zuko is all about capturing the Avatar. But think about why he wants to do it. I think 11 year old Zuko would have been sold into Hufflepuff from the scene that we see in the Storm episode with flashbacks from Iroh. The fact that he wants to know about his nation, the fact he stands up for the soldiers that they were willing to sacrifice. He even says that they lovingly defend his nation and how can they betray them. He speaks with such kindness. Baby Zuko has so much kindness and so much loyalty towards his country. And like most of the Fire Nation, again, he's raised to think that the war is Fire Nation sharing its knowledge and its wealth and its happiness with the rest of the world. And in doing that, he's preparing everything he can to be the best Fire Lord he can be. Not because he wants the power, not because he wants to become the Fire Lord, but he does it because he wants to help the people. And that is why Zuko is a Hufflepuff. And that is where I'd put the main characters of Avatar inside of the Hogwarts universe. I wonder if how many of you agree with me, how many of you disagree with me, please let me know and we can have a nice, fun, calm debate inside the comment section. I'll see you guys next week. Bye!